So in this Fearless Friday video, I'm going to be talking about listening. And I think listening is one of the most powerful skills you can pra uh, learn if you really want to connect with a woman and if you really want to have powerful conversations. First off, I was a terrible listener. I was so in my head, so analytical uh, that I couldn't really relate to a woman when she spoke to me. I'd ask a lot of questions, but it was like being in an interview. Or I'd be so anxiety ridden that I'd transfer that anxiety to her. But in either case, I was not in my body. I was not feeling and I was not truly listening to her. Yes, I could repeat every word back, but that's not what real listening is about. What is real listening about? Well, it's very, very, very simple. Real listening is about feeling the other person's emotions while they speak. They might tell you about their dog and how much they love their dog, but can you feel that they love their dog? Can, they feel, can you feel how much they appreciate their dog? Can you feel some frustration when they talk about their dog? Maybe they're saying they love their dog, but their dog kind of frustrates them too. Or maybe they're mad at their dog right now. Or maybe a girl's talking about her ex-boyfriend and she's calling him a dick, but you can feel this little bit of attraction or turn on for him. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe she's saying, oh, he was such a nice guy, but you can feel that part of her that resents him. You see, when you can really listen to emotion, you really know what the real conversation's about. And if you pay attention to women, like go to a bar, for example, and watch a bunch of women, or a restaurant, that is, because it's COVID. But you can watch a bunch of women talk, and they'll be in a circle, in a group, sitting at the table. And they're gabbing away. And one will be sharing a story from her life. Maybe she's, some woman is talking about her time when she, was, when she was younger, and there was this really hot guy she met. And she's talking about how much she liked this hot guy and how sexy he was. But in reality, the other woman can feel that excitement and not in reality, but in actuality, the other woman can feel that excitement and she can relate back a time when she felt just as excited or turned on for somebody or something. And that, that ability to relate to the emotion as it's being transmitted is so, so powerful. Without good listening, you can't do that. You can't share back properly. Uh, and you can't connect with another human being. So I'm gonna give you some simple assignments to develop listening. Number one, you gotta learn to feel. You gotta learn to feel and relate to emotions. This is where doing the heart walk is so important. This is really simple. I just walk around in the morning for 15 minutes, ask my heart to open over and over again and feel things. I'll feel the tree, I'll feel a piece of artwork and I'll notice how does it make me feel? There's actual a sense that I'm not reaching out to it but I'm letting it come into me. I'm looking at a painting right now and I'm opening my heart and I'm letting myself feel it. How does it feel? And I really like this painting. It's actually my favorite of the three that I've got over there. And it just makes me smile inside. A lot of memories come back from when I got it and a lot of feelings come back. Then I might walk over here and I'll look at this TV I've got right here. And um, this TV, I love this TV. You know, I'm not a big TV watcher. But when I do watch something, I like to have something nice. It's got a nice stereo uh, set up. It's a, it's a beautiful TV. It's, it's the favorite TV I've ever had. Uh, this bookcase, for example. I'll look at this bookcase and take it in. And this bookcase is probably my favorite piece of furniture in the house. I love having this bookcase. I decorate it all different ways. I put different stuff on it. It, it holds a lot of memories for me. And I really wanted to get it when I got it, and I got it. And so there's a sense of accomplishment with it. So there's a lot of things that have different sensations or feelings. This whole place that I live in is designed to create a certain sense or a comfortable feeling for me. It's my private sanctuary. Well, I also do this when I'm walking down the street. I just keep practicing feeling things. The better I get at feeling things, the better I get at communicating. So now I walk up to the barista and I ask her, how's your day going? I look her in the eyes and I stop and I actually take her in and she feels that I'm really connecting with her and she actually tells me, instead of just saying, oh good, she sees me, she's oh, it's really good. And there's a, there's a different sense of connection for me to her because she can feel me being present with her. When I'm out hanging out with a friend and they start telling me a story, I just kind of relax back into my spine, open my heart and I listen. And I hear something important in there that means something to them and I'll ask them, well, you know, tell me more about that. I'm going to give you a, a real story with a client. I had a client once tell me the story about a painting from his high school days. And he just said, oh, there was this painting with this line in it. And then he moved on and went to something else. But, but we could all feel the emotion, me and a couple other people, in that sentence. Because he was talking about developing a sense of purpose in his life. And, and he just happened to mention this painting. And we're like, no, let's go back to the painting. He's like, what do you mean? It's just a painting. And we got him to go back and talk more about it. As he talked more about it, he got more emotional, had a huge impact on his life. And then he began to realize how much he missed painting. Well, he went out and became a painter again. And at first he just started painting 
because he needed to. He loved it. He enjoyed it. He was really scared to show it to people, but he eventually did. And as he painted more and more, his paintings have evolved. Now he has his own studio. He has his own gallery showings he's developing. He has a manager and he's becoming a successful artist. It's changed his whole entire life. Hearing that one little sentence and pulling him back to it. When you're really present with people, you can pick up on this stuff. So some of the key elements that you want to add into being present with people, being connected with people when listening to them is learning to relax and feel your body. Not think at all, but feel how they feel to you. Uh, number two, don't nod a lot while they talk. Don't do this. I see people do that. Don't go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. If you're going to say, uh-huh, say it once in a while when you really mean it. Like, yeah. Tell me more about that. I get that. Find stuff that you can really feel and don't just say it automatically like a habit. Throw that stuff out. And, uh, and this will allow you to connect at a deeper level. So now we've got the heart walk where you're learning to feel. Now you're learning to listen to other people. So I'd, I suggest listening to music and opening your heart and feeling that. That would be another one. Then the next level is grab a friend and just sit down and practice with your friend. Tell him you want him to tell you a story from his life and just see what you can hear or her life. And see what you can pick up on and ask them questions and see if you can hit the right stuff. Do this a bunch of times. Do it two or three times. And then, um, four or five times actually do it as many times as you can find like like find four, four or five friends or maybe do it multiple times with friends just practice listening your job when you do this is to say as little as possible but not make them feel like they're being interviewed the more you can connect the more you can just ask them questions they'll tell you a lot of stuff but they won't feel interviewed because they'll really feel like they're opening up to you once in a while you want to share a little bit you don't want to be uh, completely just asking questions. Just share a little bit and then go back and ask another real question. And if you're truly listening, this is going to be so powerful for the other person and for you. The next thing you want to do is I want you to go out this weekend. It's Fearless Friday, of course. And I want you to talk to three to five people a day. Strangers, just stop them on the street. Hey, you know where the Starbucks is? I'm totally lost. Oh, really? Are you from around here? Oh, you're from right up the street. Do you like living in this area? And then they start to say something and you hear that, that tone like, yeah, it's a good area. I, I somehow don't believe you. I think, you're, I think you're just being nice. And they're like, well, yeah, the crime's been going up. You know, I'm thinking about moving. But it was a good area. And that, that little bit right there leads into a much deeper conversation because they feel seen and heard by you. Um, so that's your exercise for the weekend. I want you to work your way up to being able to have those conversations with three to five people, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you can do it, and then journal your experience. If you want to also have one more thing that will help you to develop the ability to do the heart walk, which will lead to the ability to listen better, which will lead to the ability to communicate better, check out the body scan meditation. I recommend that all the time. People love it. It really helps you to feel your whole body and helps you to open up. Quality is not as good as I would like, but people seem to love it anyways. It was, it was not ever meant to go out on YouTube. I say that all the time. It was uh, just meant for some private recording for some people, but uh, my marketing guy stuck it out there. And so it's out there now and it's doing really well. So that'll help you on a daily basis to open up more, to relax into your body so you can do the heart walk, so you can practice listening, so you can look at things, feel things, you can listen to music, you can uh, start practicing talking with your friends and listening, and then you can practice of going out and talking to strangers again keeping the conversation as little as possible just enough to share to keep it going but mostly seeing if you can get them to share with you authentically share not an interview you know so you got to share a little bit here and there don't just interview okay so that's my assignment for you for the weekend for the fearless friday weekend get out there and kill it uh, i want to hear how you do i want you to put comments in the video i want you to like the video if uh, if you liked it mash that like button share the video if you got any friends that can use this uh, if you got one of those friends that's always talking and never listening this would be a good video for him or her and there was one other thing i can't remember what it is so we're going to end with remember only the confident really live. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a beautiful day.